It's time for some hate mail. <laughs> for many of you, this is a long time coming. It's a fucking shit show. What you think you see, what you think you hear, that's what it's about. Mood and atmosphere. No, it's fucking garbage. It's garbage. Mood and atmosphere. Now that I really like. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want to see. Hey folks, how you doing? Dave McRae here. Yes, that's right. In this video, I want to read you some more hate mail. <laughs> now, for those of you that are new to my channel or relatively new, this is actually a follow-up video to a video that I did quite a few months ago now. I might have even been before the Halloween movie came. It might have even been last summer or something. It was a while ago, but it was really well received. A lot of people really enjoyed it. And in that video, I read some of the hate mail. All real shit, all real messages from people that actually sent it to me. Um, I read some of the mail that I receive and it's funny shit. Some of the stuff's really funny and people have been wondering whether or not I was going to do another one. I'm like, I'm definitely going to do it because I was. But one of the reasons why I waited this long to do it is because funny enough, after that video, I've actually received less hate mail since that video than I was receiving before that video. So I wanted to wait a bit so I can compile a list of some juicy stuff because not everything you receive that's considered hateful or funny or weird or whatever is necessarily video worthy, right? So that's one of the reasons why I waited as long as I did because I wanted some juicy stuff to actually read to you guys that is just like, what the fuck are they talking about, right? It's funny shit. Now, for those of you that are new, this is how it works. I have an assistant that works with me. She helps me with my professional voiceover career. Um, and she's also helping me with this YouTube channel. And uh, she's, because when you do a YouTube channel and you're also a professional voice actor and the scheduling and the shows that I'm doing and all that, it takes a lot. So um, she's the one that sort of funnels the messages and the emails and all that kind of jazz. Now, if you ever hear from me, that is actually me, okay? That's really me. Um, but in terms of uh, all the messages that I receive, if you don't hear from me, it's not personal because on average, this is 100% true, I receive on Facebook alone between 30 to 40 messages a day. It's still that average. Like it's, it's insane. I'm flattered, but it's insane and always surprising to me because it's not like I'm a gigantic channel, but people just love to reach out, which is totally awesome. But if you don't hear from me, it's never personal. It's just, there's so many there, but I try to read everything. Okay. Just know that. Um, so anyway, so people will send me messages through Facebook. They'll send me messages through my official website, the voice man with two ends.com, even though it's, they're not supposed to, unless it's voiceover related, but they still do. They completely miss where it says that and they still do. So my assistant will take some of the messages. If it's really good and juicy from there, she'll put it into a folder and she'll mark it. And we have all this compartmentalized. So anyway, so, um, I asked her the other day to send me if there was any good stuff. So she said, definitely we have some. So she sent it to me. Now I've only seen the first one in this list. Okay. I haven't read any of the others yet because I wanted to stop because I wanted my, uh, genuine reaction uh, to them to be with you guys, except for the first one. The first one I have read, but every time I read it, I fucking bust because it's just hilarious. Um, but I wanted to uh, have my genuine reaction for you guys, so I haven't read the rest, okay? But there's quite a few here that I want to read to you, okay? This is real shit from real people that have sent this stuff. 100%, okay? What was that uh, little jingle on the late show with... David Letterman, when they would do the CBS mailbag, what the hell was like? Letters. We get letters. We get lots and lots of letters. Letters. It was something like that. I'd use it. I hope I don't get a copyright strike now because of that. Um, anyway, okay, let's get right to it because that's what you guys have been waiting for. Okay, here we go. All right. So again, the first one I have read, but the others I have not. Okay, here we go. All right. This is for, for this is from a guy named Rick. Okay, so here's what he says. He says, hey. You're one of the most arrogant YouTubers I have ever seen. I don't know why I continue to watch you, Frank Jerky. I don't even know what Frank, I think he means frankly, but of course he spells it Frank, it's a typo. You think you're better than other people and that your opinions matter the most. I hope you understand that you'll never get anywhere in life if you go through life like a piece of shit. You need to man up or you'll never have a real job and you'll be relying on YouTube forever. Get out of your house and quit your desk job. I did last year. <laughs> 
I did last year and it feels great. Rick. Rick, I am thrilled for you that you quit your desk job last year. Congratulations, Rick. I hope you are living life and just enjoying whatever life you have left. <laughs> anyway, so, okay, now the rest I have not read, okay? I have not read, I have not seen them, okay? So here we go. All right. Dear, this is, uh, I don't really know. I should have asked, actually. I should have asked my assistant if these were all from Facebook or if it was a combination. I think that it's a combination of both, from... YouTube, from Facebook, from whatever. But anyway, it doesn't say that here. So, uh, dear David, I've been a fan of yours for a while. I always like it when people say, dear David, it's so formal. Dear David, I've been a fan of yours for a while, but I lost all respect for you when you said you were not a big fan of superhero movies. How the hell can you be a movie fan and not respect what Marvel does? <laughs> okay, here's the perfect example of what I'm talking about. Since when did I ever say that I don't respect what Marvel does because I'm not a fan of superhero movies? I'm fucking thrilled that Marvel is tearing it up right now. Anyway, how can you call yourself a voice actor when all you do is mow the lawn? Is that what it says? All you do is... M no, it says Mao. All you do is, I think he says, I think he means Mo. All you do is Mao the lawn. Jerbees? I thought so. You've lost a sub. Jerbees. Guys, when you're sending messages, if you want to stick it to me, like, yeah, fuck you, McCray, stick it. Proofread your messages because you just, it's, you look like an idiot. You look like an ass. I don't know what the fuck Jerbees is. G-E-R, sorry, J-E-R-B-E-S. I don't know what the fuck that is. And, and there's a question mark. Jerbees? Jerbees? <laughs> um, this next one is... <laughs> this next one is just big capital letters, 20 exclamation marks, unsubscribing! <laughs> I love it when people say that. Oh yeah, well I'm unsubscribed. It's like they're walking out of the room and they turn to everybody else in the room and they're like, hey, hey, unsubscribing. Yeah. And then they turn around and they leave. It's like, all right, great. You know, it just means more when it's big capital letters followed by a bunch of exclamation marks, right? Uh, I don't even know who the fuck that was, but apparently they were, they've unsubscribed from me. All right. Uh, oh, this is a nice one. Oh, that was nice of my assistant to throw this in here, but... What? Hey Dave, big fan, love you bro. What is the angle you like about the Halloween death row secrets with... Halloween death row secrets with Anna Pigeon? Is Halloween death row... Halloween death row secrets, is that like a documentary that I'm unaware of? Or a... Or a fan... And who's Anna Pigeon? <laughs> Hey Dave, big fan, love you bro. What is the angle you like about the Halloween death row secrets with Anna Pigeon? I don't know, comment below and let me know guys. What do you think of it? I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Sorry buddy. Um, what up? I don't know if you'll ever see this. Uh, this is a different guy now. Um, or I guess it could be a girl. I don't know. It's, I've, I've looked at my analytics, like 92% of my demographic is men. So I'm pretty sure it's men or it's, it's, a, it's a dude. Uh, what up? I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I have been holding back for a long time. Uh-oh. You're so pompous and pretentious, gloating about how you make millions of dollars. <laughs> I don't recall a video where I, where I was gloating about that. And think you know movie shit. The Last Jedi is the greatest Star Wars movie of all time, minus Empire. And what gives you the right to tell me it's shit? It's not shit. It's, it's a different, it's, it's different. It's different a breath. It's different. Oh, fuck. Guys, it's different. A breathe of fresh air. Breath and breathe are two different words, folks. Your knowledge means nothing to me. You're the most irritating person on the internet. You talk way too much and you're really loud. Am I? Am I really loud? <laughs> Every time I watch you, you irritate. Well, then stop watching me. Every time I watch you, you irritate me. Then stop watching me. What the fuck are you watching me for then? You say you're a fan of horror movies and yet you never talk about Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. <laughs> I had no idea that was a real, a real hot, hot film everybody wanted me to talk about. Uh, 
War against the fungus. War, war against the fungus sounds like a political slogan. It's not the war against drugs, folks. It's the war against fungus. Is that that's a movie? I've never heard of it. S scanners. I've heard of scanners or Fright Night or bees. Bees stings bee. Bees sting bees. Bees sting bees. That sounds like that might be a serious, <laughs> serious horror movie. Where's all the Hammer film talk? It's nowhere because you know very little. You're all pizzazz and no substance. You're like icing without the cake. You're like a martini with... <laughs> You're like a martini without the woman. <laughs> that is amazing. Dude, that is an awesome, awesome... That is amazing. I gotta use that. You're like a martini without the woman. Oh, that's good. That is actually, and he ends with Dave McGay. <laughs> that's not really original, buddy. I've, I've, I've had that thrown my way for years, Dave McGay. The, the thing before that, though, when you said you're like a martini without the woman, that's good. That's good. I like that. All right. Uh, love you, man. You've changed my views on looking. Oh, my assistant's so nice. She feels bad for me. <laughs> she throws in a nice one. Love you, man. You've changed my views on looking at films more critically, but still objectively. Simon. Well, that's nice. You're welcome, Simon. Um, that's really cool. Awesome stuff. Um, hi, Dave. I used to be, I used to like you, and then you stopped talking about Halloween. Unsubbed. <laughs> Oh, all right. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. McCray. Ooh, Mr. McCray. Mr. McCray, can you please tell me what makes you qualified to have a YouTube channel? <laughs> Nothing. Well, actually, I, I have a degree. I have a degree in YouTubeatronics and YouTube, uh, YouTube engineering. YouTube earring, I should say. Um, I have my PhDs, my masters. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what makes me qualify. What makes you qualified to have a YouTube channel? Um, hi, Dave. I'm writing to you from Boston. Ever been? Probably not. <laughs> hi, Dave. I'm writing to you from Boston. Ever been? Probably not. <laughs> I love the bluntness of the... Anyway, I'm a big Marvel fan, and I want to know why you think Marvel is trash. I don't think Marvel is trash. I don't. I don't at all. Just because I'm not into superhero movies doesn't think I think they're trash. Not at all. I think what Marvel is doing right now is awesome. It's it's great for movies. It's great for fandom and pop culture. It's great. It's great for the industry. Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, I don't think Marvel is trash. Um, hey Dave, you say you're a voice actor, but how do we know you're really one and not some imposter? What have you done? Well, the link is in the description. Go to www.thevoiceman.com. The voice man, man has two ends, thevoiceman.com. Uh, and you'll see some of my work there. You can check it out. Uh, cats or dogs? Oh, that was nice. Uh, uh, cats. I love dogs, but I'm a cat guy. Um, hello from sunny Connecticut, the state, the state that loves freshness. <laughs> what? Uh, listen, I don't live in the States, but I've never heard, I've never heard anybody, I've never heard anybody refer to Connecticut as the state that loves freshness. Hello from sunny Connecticut, the state that loves freshness. Anybody from Connecticut? Comment below. Is, is that your slogan? The state, the state that loves freshness. <laughs> A lot of you, a lot of a lot of people farting in Connecticut, folks. Um, all right. Uh, I don't usually. I oh okay. I guess this is the last one. Uh, I don't usually write to people on YouTube, but I think that you need to tone it down. Uh, you need to tone it down rather than tone it up. I mean, having a personality is good at all, but you just seem like you're overcompensating for your lack of income or job. You need to get out more and. Gind a girlfriend. I think he means fine. Find a girlfriend or wife and understand there is more to life than movies. What kind of car do you drive? Do you drive? Maybe you take the bus to work. I like your movie talk. I just think you're a little much, man. And you should be prioritizing things in your life over your channel. I'm a fan too. And I get talking about movies, but I also have a life and live my life to the fullest. I don't always agree with you, but when I do, I do. <laughs> Thanks. Oh my God! Um, oh, his name's Stephen. Stephen, uh, I'm I'm doing okay. I'm good. You you don't need to worry about me. I'm I'm good. But I'm really glad Rick 
<laughs> quit his desk job. <laughs> oh man, folks, those are just some of the messages that I receive um, and have received over the last number of weeks and months. Most of the stuff that I get is positive stuff. It's stuff that is not like this at all. Like this is... These people are always very loud and they stand out because of mo I, like 95% of the messages I get are really positive and good and cool. And most of the stuff is just like, hey man, love your channel, keep it up. Like most of the stuff is like that. But when you get things like this, they really stand out, right? Because everything else is not like that, generally speaking. So um, this is, f oh my God, I had no idea. I think my favorite one here is the, um, oh, I love that martini one. That is so good. That is a great insult. That is real, like that is really good. And it's great because it it's followed with, you know, you're uh you're all the you're all pizzazz and no substance. You're like icing without the cake. And then he goes for the juggernaut or, or the juggernaut. He goes for the jugular. You're like a martini without the woman. And it's like, oh my God, that's awesome. I love it. I love it. And then he and then he has to destroy it by going, Dave McGay. It's like if you had just ended with you're like a martini without the woman and just left it at that, there's no name on here. But if you, whoever you are, if you had just left it at that, but then you have to write Dave McGay. It's like, ah, uh, everything you just wrote there in that sentence. It's like, ah, uh, it's like the ending was so good. And then they had that extra five minutes of the movie that just destroyed that. It should have ended five minutes earlier than it did, man. This is a movie that should have ended five minutes earlier than it did. You were almost there. You were so close. Martini without the woman. That's great. Um, yeah. Halloween death row secrets with Anna Pigeon. I don't know. Who is Anna Pigeon? Anna Pigeon. That's a great last name. Anna Pigeon. Oh, there is an Anna Pigeon. And it's, she's an author though. Okay, is it the same Anna? I don't know. Comment below and let me know guys who Anna Pigeon is and what Halloween death row secrets is. Fuck, where did, where did the thing go now? Uh, there we are. Yeah, so anyways, uh, I don't know. Comment below and let me know your thoughts folks on these messages and what you think. Let me know what Halloween death secrets is. Um, fuck, that martini thing is just so awesome. Uh... Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. I mean, if anybody wants to know, uh, who I really am outside of YouTube, just go to my, uh, official website in the description below thevoiceman.com. You can see a lot of the things that I've done there. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I'm, you know what? The one thing I take away from this is that I think we all, I think we all can agree here, folks. And I think we all can at least be happy that, that Rick quit his desk job. I think, <laughs> I mean, we all can be happy that Rick quit his desk job. <sighs> Rick, I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.